History of Movies Cinematography is the illusion of movement by the recording and subsequent rapid projection of many still photographic pictures on a screen. Originally a product of 19th-century scientific endeavor, cinema has become a medium of mass entertainment and communication, and today it is a multi-billion pound industry. Who invented cinema? No one person invented cinema. However, in 1891 the Edison Company successfully demonstrated a prototype of the kinetoscope, which enabled one person at a time to view moving pictures. The first public kinetoscope demonstration took place in 1893. By 1894 the kinetoscope was a commercial success, with public parlors established around the world. The first to present projected moving pictures to a paying audience were the Lumiere brothers in December 1895 in Paris, France. They used a device of their own making, the cinematograph, which was a camera, a projector and a film printer all in one. What were early films like? At first, films were very short, sometimes only a few minutes or less. They were shown at fairgrounds, music halls, or anywhere a screen could be set up and a room darkened. Subjects included local scenes and activities, views of foreign lands, short comedies and newsworthy events. The films were accompanied by lectures, music and a lot of audience participation. Although they did not have synchronized dialogue, they were not silent, as they are sometimes described. The rise of the film industry. By 1914, Europe, Russia and Scandinavia were the dominant industries, America was much less important. Films became longer and storytelling, or narrative, became the dominant form. As more people paid to see movies, the industry which grew around them was prepared to invest more money in their production, distribution, and exhibition, so large studios were established. The First World War greatly affected the film industry in Europe, and the American industry grew in relative importance. The first 30 years of cinema were characterized by the growth and consolidation of an industrial base, the establishment of the narrative form, and refinement of technology. Adding color. Color was first added to black and white movies through hand coloring, tinting, toning and stenciling. By 1906, the principles of color separation were used to produce so-called natural color moving images with the British Kinemacolor process, first presented to the public in 1909. Kinemacolor was primarily used for documentary, or actuality, films, such as the epic with our king and queen through India, also known as the Delhi Durbar, of 1912, which ran for over two hours in total. Adding sound. The first attempts to add synchronized sound to projected pictures used phonographic cylinders or discs. The first feature-length movie incorporating synchronized dialogue, The Jazz Singer, USA, 1927, used the Warner Brothers Vitaphone system, which employed a separate record disc with each reel of film for the sound. Cinema's Golden Age by the early 1930s, nearly all feature-length movies were presented with synchronized sound and, by the mid-1930s, some were in full color too. The advent of sound secured the dominant role of the American industry and gave rise to the so-called Golden Age of Hollywood. During the 1930s and 1940s, cinema was the principal form of popular entertainment, with people often attending cinemas twice a week. Ornate super cinemas or picture palaces, offering extra facilities such as cafes and ballrooms, came to towns and cities, many of them could hold over 3,000 people in a single auditorium. In Britain, the highest attendances occurred in 1946, with over 31 million visits to the cinema each week. Thank you.